7 Curiosities of Beethoven that you did not know Most people don't know much about Beethoven, other than that he was a great musician. Those who have read, or seen a movie or series, about this composer, will know a little more about what his life was like. However, for many, Beethoven remains a mystery. We tell you some curiosities about Beethoven that you will surely find interesting. Beethoven's Death Ludwig van Beethoven died in the year 1827, and the cause is much debated. As has been said before, he was suffering from several illnesses that had greatly deteriorated his health. Many think that he could have died because of his cirrhosis, or some parallel infection. There is a lot of talk that he might have contracted syphilis, or lead poisoning, which was used in many things in those days. Beethoven's funeral was attended by thousands of people, which makes it clear that he was followed and respected by many people. He got fired from all kinds of artists and even regular citizens who had nothing to do with music. He was an admirer of Napoleon the composer. He was an admirer of Napoleon Bonaparte, especially in his early stage. Beethoven saw him as a character who fought against many of the injustices that were done in Europe. His devotion was such that he wrote his third symphony called Eroica for Napoleon. He was even thinking of going to live in Paris while he was composing this symphony. However, Napoleon's naming himself Emperor did not sit well with Beethoven. This changed the way he thought about Napoleon, although the Third Symphony remained one of his best-known works. He did not go to Paris, and continued to work in Vienna as he had always done. In fact, Beethoven continued working until practically the day of his death. Contrary to what many may think, music did not make Beethoven rich, and he had to work to live to the end. He gave piano lessons, wrote music at the request of rich and noble people, and of course continued to compose his own music. Beethoven Curiosities with Pianos Another of Beethoven's anecdotes, which many don't know, is that he was a pioneer in piano compositions. Most of the musicians up to now made his compositions on the harpsichord. However, Beethoven decided that he would do everything on the instrument that he loved so much, which was the piano. For this reason, all of his compositions were done on the piano, instead of using a harpsichord. It can be said that he was one of the first to do so. Another of Beethoven's curiosities regarding the piano is that he hated teaching. It was something that put him in a very bad mood, although he made exceptions. It is said that he only gave piano lessons to students who were truly exceptionally talented. He also made exceptions for young girls who were very attractive. The truth is that it was one of his sources of income. His good health did not accompany him during his life. What many people don't know is that Beethoven was never in very good health. From a very young age he was always in trouble of all kinds. As he became an adult, things didn't get better, and it got worse. It is documented that the musician suffered from stomach problems, periods of colitis, typhus, infections, and skin problems. All this, being him relatively young. At the end of his life, his health problems worsened. He had inflammation of the arteries and liver problems that ended in cirrhosis. As if that were not enough, he became deaf, which was what impacted him the most both physically and mentally. Beethoven always said that his deafness was due to a fall he had as a child. It seems that they scared him and he fell to the ground hitting his head. However, Experts think that it could be a consequence of the typhus that he had as a child, or measles. It must be remembered that medicine was not as advanced as it is now. Before he was 30 years old, the discomfort in his ears began, which was progressive.
The relationship with Joseph Haydn as a young man, he was not only studying under his father's tutelage, but was a student of the famous Joseph Haydn. It was when I was in Vienna, and having this famous composer as a teacher, did not go well. Beethoven's way of being was always complex, and he always did things his way. His teacher, his composer, was very strict with discipline, which was not Beethoven's strong suit. In the end, both Beethoven and Haydn decided to leave this teacher-student relationship. In fact, according to what was said at the end, they didn't get along too well. Beethoven's strong character gave him personal problems throughout his life. The first performances From a very young age, Beethoven began to perform concerts for audiences of different sizes. Being a piano virtuoso, he made himself known very soon, and was gaining fame among the great musicians of the moment. In fact, at the age of 17 he played the piano with a person named Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart in the audience. When Beethoven performed opposite the legendary composer Mozart, he was already well known in Vienna. Something happened that was very curious, and it made it clear that Mozart knew how to distinguish talent when he saw it. He was very critical of the musicians of the time, and he didn't usually speak highly of them. Being a genius above his time, he was bored with the music that was made among his contemporaries. When Beethoven played while Mozart was in the audience, at the end of the performance, Mozart said the following, Be attentive to this young man because one day he will give the world things to talk about. One of the surprising things about Beethoven was his improvisational capacity. Many of the well-known pianists and musicians of the day noted this. Beethoven, he could arrange any piece on the spot and while he was playing it. In classical music there is little room for improvisation, but Beethoven always played a lot with this concept. Beethoven's childhood As has been said, Beethoven's story begins in a family quite involved with music. His father soon realized the musical gifts of his son and wanted to promote that talent. As always, it was done in those times, the procedure was to study and practice for endless hours. They were endless sessions, both day and night, where the young Beethoven had to get on a chair to reach the piano keyboard. Beethoven also combined his music studies with normal subjects. It can be said that he spent his entire childhood in school and his musical career, leaving little time to play. According to this documented, the worst thing he was given was mathematics. Even after finishing his studies he was unable to do certain operations such as multiply and divide. Although he didn't play much due to lack of time, he used to daydream at school. Many people were able to notice this, where Beethoven would just travel to another world and be completely disconnected. Of course, in his musical studies and practices, his father forced him to concentrate. 